Okay, so if you type in editing softwares for YouTube, you know what pops up? Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and even Final Cut Pro. But what about Filmora? Because I've been using Filmora since the start of this YouTube channel, and well, it's worked fine for me. So can you still buy it in 2023? Let's get right into it. Okay, so let's firstly start with the pricing, because I think this is probably the most important decision you're gonna make when you're purchasing an editing software. Okay, so let's compare the most popular editing softwares in prices. So if you want to go with Premiere Pro, you're going to have to spend 20 bucks each month. You can't buy it once off, you just have to every month 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, which adds up to a lot of money. And as far as I know, the DaVinci Resolve is completely free, unless you want to go with the Pro option and then it's like 250 bucks, but once off, and then you have the Pro DaVinci Resolve. And then Final Cut Pro is a bit more expensive at $300, which is a lot of money. But once again, it's once off, so you just buy it and then you have it for life, I guess. And then Filmora, which is what this video is about, Filmora is $60 once off and then you get it for life. Um, but if you include tax, it's almost like $70, but let's keep it at $60. So I think $60 is like in between the most expensive and the most cheap. It's like right there in the middle and for me it's kind of cool because for the amount of features you get and we'll talk about this in the next part but the amount of features you get is very good for only $60 once off and obviously you can add some for special effects I think it's like $5 a month or something and you get some extra effects but for $60 once off I'm pretty much good to go so let's talk about the features that it has okay so let's talk about features now Oh, come on, man. I'm recording. Oh, oh, my bad, bro. Sorry. No, oh, no, it's okay. You already ruined it, so... But, uh, you wanna tell him about the thing? What thing? You know, the thing. Oh, oh, yeah, that thing. Sure. So, this video is sponsored by... Um, no one. But, now that I have your attention, if I go to my YouTube studio, it shows only 7% of you are actually subscribed. So that means if 100 people watch this video, only 7 of them are subscribed. So please consider subscribing. And once again, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this so that we can build the coolest tech community on YouTube. So consider subscribing. Okay, so now we can finally talk about the features you get when you buy Filmora. So, probably one of the plus features for me is text-to-speech, where you can literally type anything and someone would talk, or other ways around, where you can talk and it will turn it into automatic text, which is super cool. And then you obviously, obviously get keyframing. If you don't know what keyframing is, it's like you track something in the video, like if I track my hand right now. So the features is a big plus and I think I'm probably going to edit this video also on Filmora. Now the only thing bad about buying Filmora is well there's a few cons that comes with it. For example the color grading, like you can do color grading to a minimum but you don't have like the top notch features like DaVinci Resolve or whatever. Like you can put on filters and you know the basic stuff just like white balance and vibrancy and all those things but when it comes to like real real color grading Filmora doesn't provide that so I think if you're looking to really heavy color grade all your footage or photos or whatever Filmora is probably not the best way to go and the second thing I don't like about Filmora is the audio now I'm capturing my audio with a microphone but if you want to like enhance your audio with AI or stuff it sounds terrible when you put it like through a wind um, noise or whatever on Filmora, it just sounds worse than it started. So if you want to have great quality sound, just record good quality sound. Don't try to fix it in Filmora because it's not gonna work. Now something I love about Filmora is how user friendly it is. Like, I mean Filmora has its own YouTube channel to help you along the way to figure out how to use this and how to use that. So I think when it comes to is this thing user friendly? I think Filmora is on the top for being the most user friendly in my opinion. Because let's look at the layout for example. You have all the things you need and it's like not hiding away somewhere in a secret menu or whatever. Everything is there. So even a toddler can understand it. And for me that's been editing on it for almost a year. It's like second nature to me. Where I've put in shortcuts and stuff like that to make my life easier. 
So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any further questions about Fremora, you can just drop it down in the comments and I'll try to respond to each and any one of you. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.